how can you get more quality leads for your real estate company here in Dubai and actually increase your company conversion rate and get more viewings and negotiation and basically more revenues for your company. I am Francesca, direct response marketing expert, marketing strategist, and business advisor. In the last few years, I've been working with over 3,000 businesses, mainly in US, but also in other parts of the world and Europe. Most of them were in the real estate industry, and recently I've been expanding my marketing company here in Dubai, helping real estate companies with the lead generation and marketing needs. I want to make this video regarding quality leads. In particular, not only how you can attract quality leads, I already made a video about that, but how you can increase the quality of the leads you're currently getting. Because let me tell you something, advertising per se, just running ads on Facebook, Instagram, Google, TikTok, and any other advertising platform, it's not enough to get super qualified and profile lead. So if this is the only thing you're doing right now, that's not enough, okay? Expecting to get a bunch of high quality lead from the ads that are super ready to buy, it's almost impossible unless, unless, you're spending like $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 a lead. If you want to profile your audience solely from the ads, if you want to increase the quality of the traffic only working on the ads and the advertising campaign, that's not the solution. If you want to attract more quality leads and increase the quality of the leads that you are attracting, that you perhaps already have attracted during the last few months, last few years, then in this video I will share with you some interesting strategies. Now, before we go into the depth of, of this video, we need to talk about quality leads. Let's give a basic definition of what a quality lead is. And in general, when I talk about a high quality lead, it's a contact of a person that is actually interested in what I am promoting. So it's someone that will easily be converted into an actual customer in a time, a set time frame. Now, this time frame, this time period, it's going to change and vary according to the transaction we are requiring from the client. So according to the price point of what we're selling, this time frame might vary, okay? As well as, of course, the cost of the lead. So you can already tell that acquiring lead at a very low cost, especially for the real estate, it's not a good sign of quality lead. Usually quality lead are more expensive than more profile lead because there are higher chances to convert those lead into actual buyers into actual clients for your real estate company, people that will rent properties, people that will buy a property or invest in an off-plan project. So high quality leads are usually more expensive. So right now, if you're spending just a few bucks, a few five to six to 10 dirhams per lead, it's a very low amount, it's a very low number. Quality leads are usually between 10 to $15 per lead, sometimes even less, okay? But that's the right amount per lead, or at least for a quality lead, someone that, that your agent can at least try to close a lead, a contact that it's more likely to go on viewings, to open negotiation, and perhaps someone that your agent can even close. So when we talk about quality leads for the real estate industry, there are some considerations we have to make. If I'm about to sell an item or a service for cheap, less than $50, okay? Usually if I'm making a marketing effort, if I'm running ads to get leads that will then buy this kind of service for this price, I don't expect them to buy this service in a year. But the thing is different when I'm promoting a property, an off-plan project or a ready-to-buy house, villa, apartment, okay? In that case, a lead that might be interested in buying that house in a year might be considered a quality lead, okay? Because the transaction is very different. The amount of money we're spending in ad is different, and uh, even the amount of money we're going to make out of this marketing effort, if successful, is going to be different. So in real estate, when we talk about quality leads, we cannot think, we cannot expect to get leads that are super hot, super ready to buy, leads that you are going to contact and instantly that are going to make a transaction. That's not how it works. Negotiation takes time, viewings takes time, closing a deal takes time. 
might take a few months, might take a few weeks if you're lucky. It's not going to take a few days unless, unless you are in touch with a super, super hot lead that already saw any kind of property that already made so many viewings with other people, with other agents. And it's just, he decided that morning that he wants to buy the house. But even in that case, okay, it's unlikely that you're going to close the deal in a few days because there are things that needs to happen. There are contracts that needs to be signed, there are transactions needs to be made, and so on. So when I talk about quality leads for the real estate industry, I'm not only referring to people that are ready to buy it now, but also to people that are interested in buying a property, in investing or renting a property in a month, two, or in a year or so, okay? These are the quality leads I'm talking about. Leads that will answer your message, that will schedule viewings, that will talk with you and share with you their concern, that at least are responsive. When I talk about low quality leads, low quality contacts, I'm talking about people that will hang up the phone on you, people that they are simply not interested in a property, not now, not ever, okay? These are the low quality contacts you don't want to attract. If we need to make an estimate, we want to deal with people that either in a few months are able, are willing to make a transaction. These are fairly warm leads, okay? If we found a contact that in a few months is willing to buy something, to rent a property, then this is, we can consider that a, a warm lead and it's definitely a quality one. Once we define what a quality lead is, let's see what we have to do to acquire those kind of leads, those kind of contacts. So definitely what you don't want to do is copy what most of your competitors are doing or making random campaign using fake numbers, pumping the potential ROI just to get the attention of the market. That's, that's not how you do things, okay? One of the main things that you have to consider in this industry is trust. You need to gain the audience trust. Using fake numbers, using uh, bait numbers, fake estimate, it's not going to get you in touch with quality leads. You're going to get attention of people that then will expect those numbers, numbers that in somehow you cannot provide. So again, you're just losing time. You're just losing time attracting people that are not in target with what you really have to offer, okay? So scratch that thing. You need to get in touch with people that are willing to spend money for a particular property or to invest in a project. So definitely creating campaign, marketing campaign with a focus on a specific project and properties is a nice technique. Is the best one? No, it's not. You should be promoting single project and making campaign around one particular uh, property, one particular building, okay? It's fine, you can do that. But it's not the most efficient way to get quality leads because in those cases, you're not just going to get people that like what they see, that like the property. So if we switch the focus from promoting the single project and the single property to attracting people, the people that we want, and we structure the marketing campaign on attracting those people, the game is going to change. Because in that case, we're going to get in touch with more people that are either looking for buy, to rent, to invest, okay? And in that case, we have many properties we can provide them, many properties we can share with them. These are the kind of leads that you have higher chances to close because it's not about the property itself. It's not one property. You, you didn't get their attention by promoting one property. And if they don't like that, it's not a deal. You get their attention by telling them, I have this kind of properties. I have the villas you're looking for. I have the, the buildings you're looking for. By switching the focus from project campaign to audience campaign, you're going to target a broader audience and you're going to get in touch with leads that you have higher chances to convert, okay? Of course, when we talk about these kind of campaigns, ads are not enough. In order to educate the lead and to increase the quality of the leads, your marketing efforts cannot stop at the ads, cannot stop at getting the leads. You need to keep nurturing the contact you're collecting. You need to educate them on why they should proceed and why they should do that with you. Otherwise, you're, going, you're just going to be one of the many agencies promoting one of the many projects. People are not going to come to you for your services, but just for the property you have. And this is a problem. Because if they're going to choose you out of the property you have, if you don't have the property they want, they're going to go to someone else. You see the problem here? They're not going to come to you if they don't have any reason to choose your services rather than the property. You're not going to stand out among dozens of competitors. You're not. 
you need to educate the audience on why choose your company, why trust your company, on why they should proceed with that particular off-plan project, with that particular property now and not tomorrow. These are the kind of marketing action you have to take into account. Your marketing efforts cannot stop at the ads, otherwise the quality of the traffic will not increase, the quality of the leads you get will not increase. When you optimize your campaigns and you have a targeted campaign, you make targeted campaign with a specific message that are laser focused around your audience, you can get greater results. You can improve the traffic quality from those campaigns. It's true, but it's not enough. There is a cap, okay? You cannot expect to get super profile leads just from the ad. To get super profile leads and leads that are actually ready to buy, you need to keep nurturing them. You need to educate them. Okay, that's where real marketing takes place. When we educate leads and we take a lead that's potentially cold and we turn it into a warm and hot lead until finally it's ready to be converted. So your marketing action needs to go behind the ad themselves. Doing ads, it's not enough. That's why when you want to outsource your lead generation, you cannot focus just on social media. That's why social media agencies don't usually provide results to their clients, especially in the real estate, because they only focus on the ads on the social media. Okay, most of them they don't even focus on the ads, they're just posting on social media and then use ads as, as an additional service. Well, in real estate it's not. Lead generation is as an essential component of your marketing efforts, of your marketing system. But it's not enough. You need to think about other marketing action. That's why you should be relying on a marketing company rather than an agency in case you were looking to outsource your lead generation. Anyway, if you'd like to get more quality leads, if you'd like to step up your advertising game, if you'd like to attract more potential buyers, more people willing to invest in off-plan projects, or basically you'd like to get better results out of your marketing effort, you can click the link you'll find down below and I'll see you there.